to create a quick survey in Excel 365, you can use checkboxes. Just click to add your score. And we've set it up so that people can't select more than one checkbox for each question. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Here's the basic setup where I'm going to create the checkboxes for this survey. I've got three questions and five headings with a low of one up to a high of five. We'll create formulas in these cells and a total formula here to get the overall score. To add the checkboxes, I'm going to select these cells from one to five for each question. Then on the Insert tab, I'll go to the Controls group and click Checkbox. And that automatically adds an empty checkbox in each cell and the active cell in the formula bar shows false. So an empty checkbox is equal to false. If I click on it to select it, it becomes true. So we're going to be able to use true and false to calculate in these formulas. I'm going to select three scores here for these questions, and then we'll get a formula here to figure out which box was checked. In this cell, I'm going to create a match formula. Match will find something in a list. So I'll start with equals match. We want it to look for something, and what I want it to find is true. Find the box that's checked. Then where's the lookup array? So it's these five cells in this row, and we want an exact match. So I'll double click that, close the bracket, and press enter. So we've got a score of one there. If I drag down, it found the checkbox in the third cell here and the fifth cell. And to get a total score down at the bottom, we can just do a sum. And our overall score is nine. Now that we have the basic formula, I'm just going to uncheck this box and we'll see what happens. And we've got an error in our score because it can't match true to anything here. So I'm going to add if error to the formula. Go to the end. And if there is an error, just show a zero. I'll copy that down. And that gets rid of the error. I check the box. Now that's a three and everything's working fine. The next thing to do is make sure that people can't select multiple checkboxes in any row. Right now, I could click one and five and three, as many as I want in each row. So we don't want that to happen. I'm going to start by clearing all of these boxes. So some of them are checked, some are empty, and when that's the situation, I can just press the delete key and that clears all of them. But I don't want to press delete when they're all empty or that will just remove all the checkboxes. I'll undo. To prevent people from selecting more than one, we're going to use data validation. We'll set up a rule that says only one cell can be true. So the count of true has to be less than or equal to one. I like to test formulas on the worksheet first before putting them into data validation. So I'll do equal count ifs. And then the criteria range is check all these cells. We want to lock in the column letters C and G because no matter which column we're trying to add a check mark, we always want it to check those specific columns. So from C4 to G4, we're looking for the criteria true is less than or equal to one. So if I click here, it's true. And now it's false because the two are checked. So I'm going to copy this formula and use that in data validation. I'll select all the checkbox cells, go to data validation. And in here, we want a custom formula. I'm going to just paste what I copied. 
count if true is less than or equal to one. Click OK. And nothing changes visually. But I'll check here. I can check one in each row. But if I try to check a second one, it just does nothing. So if I want to change my score, I'd have to uncheck and then check. And now we've got our total score. People can only check one box and we can get survey results.